Hi, I'm Brent Ramsey from Canon USA. In this video, we'll look at how the Canon EOS R camera system works, specifically its video functions and controls. Some familiar operational features you may have become accustomed to with say the 5D Mark IV or even other Canon DSLRs have changed a bit, but I think you'll agree it's all good. Now, I just have to start with this simple control, something I personally really love. Movies can be recorded almost instantly while shooting stills by pressing the movie shooting button. The EOS R features Canon's new RF lens mount, which gives you all the advantages in video that we discussed in previous episodes in this tutorial series for stills. Data communication is one example. The RF lens system now has 12 electronic contacts and much faster communication between the camera and the lens. This enhanced communication results in increased AF speed and precision and superior image stabilization. And it has tremendous backward compatibility. You can still use all Canon EF and EF-S lenses with an optional adapter. Two of these adapters may be of special interest to video users. The first has its own control ring, just like the one on Canon RF lenses. It can be programmed to allow immediate exposure control, such as aperture or exposure compensation. And the second gives you a drop-in filter, either a controllable circular polarizing filter or a variable ND filter. The layout and design of this EOS R camera body has altered the way we set up and shoot video. The smaller body has reduced a lot of the surface area where previous DSLR camera bodies may have included even more buttons and dials. And the EOS R compensates with some new external controls like this one. It's called the multifunction bar. This is a unique new capacitive touch control that supports slide and tap operations. You can customize its functions to assign settings that you might want to adjust on the fly, like ISO, white balance, AF. It's totally silent and can give you instant access to important functions during video shooting. You can even assign different functions for recording and for playback. And now, check this out. To access the shooting modes for video, press the mode button, then touch the info button or screen. Now, select the video recording mode by either the quick control dial, the main dial, cross keys, or simply just touching this very angle adjustable LCD monitor. So this is where it starts to get really cool. There are the familiar camera modes of A+, Scene Intelligent Auto, so basically fully automatic, which I'll ask you to avoid for shooting movies unless you're handing the camera off to an eight-year-old, which I don't recommend either. There's P, Program AE, Auto Exposure Mode, TV, Shutter Priority, AV, Aperture Priority, and M, Manual. And there are three custom settings, C1, C2, and C3. These are preset as program AE, but you can select any shooting mode like full manual exposure and also preset nearly any other camera settings you want to quickly return to and memorize them. Later, just select the appropriate C1, C2, C3 setting and the camera instantly reverts to them. Set one up for high frame rate, for example, and be ready to roll quickly on slow motion. Now I'm gonna give you my favorite trick for that later. Once you make settings for video operation, they're kept totally separate from your still image settings. So you can seamlessly move from stills to video or vice versa and work with settings appropriate to each. Now that you've got your video set up the way you like it, let's say you've been shooting stills and now you're ready to switch to shooting movies. Simply press the movie shooting button right here and you're underway. Customizing the camera settings for video beforehand enables you to shoot video instantly without having to go through the usual checklist of, did I reset my shutter? Did I change the ISO? Am I still in 4K? This certainly removes some of the mental frustration we've all experienced when switching back and forth between stills and shooting video on the fly. You can instantly start video recording by just pressing the recording button with the red dot. To get back to shooting stills, you just stop recording by pressing the same record button. Tap the shutter button and you're back to your still save photo settings. 
Here's another new feature, the dot matrix LCD panel on top of the camera. This panel provides the current parameters and camera status requiring real-time notification. It can also display camera settings that you can adjust directly without camera controls. Video shooting information is displayed in standby mode indicating metering, shutter, aperture, AF method, white balance, movie digital IS setting, possible recording time, and resolution. During recording, it indicates movie shooting mode, elapsed time, battery, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth connection status. I know you'll like this one. The High Precision Electronic Viewfinder. Now you can use it while shooting movies and it allows you to see clearly even in bright outdoor conditions. Extensive camera and recording information can be displayed on the EVF, allowing you to check settings while looking through the lens. You'll find it easy to see your subjects in poorly lit conditions, even when they can't be easily recognized with the unaided eye. One of the features in the new EOS R that will probably get the most attention during use is this 3.15 inch very angle touchscreen panel. Naturally, this lends itself to vlogging and selfies, but it's the operational functions that make it really shine. From the touchscreen, you can adjust all the internal menu settings, change any of the displayed big three camera parameters like shutter, ISO, aperture, or press the Q button to finesse operational details. When you work with autofocus, this screen becomes invaluable. For instance, you can just tap the LCD monitor to change where the camera focuses, or when you're looking through the viewfinder, touch and drag AF lets you change your AF point location by just dragging your thumb on the LCD monitor. Something I'm sure you'll find extremely beneficial for video, the EOS R actually allows more control customization than we've seen with previous Canon DSLRs. A button can be assigned one function for still shooting and another during movie recording. And when you switch between the two, the saved button customizations automatically follow. For instance, you can program all four pads on the cross keys, the multi-function button, the mode button, even the LCD panel illumination button can all be assigned to assist you in different ways with different camera functions for quick access. Here's my favorite. Assign switch to custom shooting mode to the multi-function button up front. Now, this will cycle you through the custom C1, C2, C3 shooting modes where I've set up my slow motion parameters to C1 in this case. That way, I can be shooting at normal speeds, press the multi-function button, then instantly record high speed movies at just the press of a button. There's one more external operation control feature I'd be mad at myself for not sharing, and that's Wi-Fi remote control from a compatible device like your smartphone. Setting this up requires a free app called Canon Camera Connect. But once you install this on your device and establish the connection, you can operate the camera from a distance without ever having to go physically touch it. View the image on your phone. Change camera parameters like ISO, white balance, adjust sound levels, change focus, and of course, start and stop the camera rolling. You can even transfer the files. This is especially useful if the camera is mounted somewhere out of reach or you need to get your material to someone somewhere else in the world quickly. All right, so let's wrap this up with a look at the terminal inputs and outputs. The EOS R has five terminals located on the side of the body. Here's a single pin remote control terminal, a digital terminal equivalent to SuperSpeed USB 3, a 3.5 millimeter mini stereo jack external microphone in terminal, an HDMI out mini type C terminal that switches resolutions automatically, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone terminal. So please check out the EOS R at the Canon website for more product details. I'm Brett Ramsey. Thanks for watching.